Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Getting better on this thing. If you guys didn't see that last video, uh, go go check it out up here. I got an electric unicycle and it's hard. Today's video though is about this guy, the Rode Video Micro. This has been this has been my most recommended microphone for compact cameras, for things like GoPros and action cameras, and just like the best microphone to just have in your bag, even as a pro. This is a backup microphone has no batteries to worry about so you could leave this thing in there for a year pull it out when you need it and boom plug it in you're good to go but now Rode has come out with this guy the Rode Video Micro 2 should you buy the Rode Video Micro 2 there's uh there's construction going on over here so let's head back into the studio and we'll talk more Okay, before we get to an audio sample from this tiny microphone, let's talk some features on this little guy. The first big thing is this little microphone weighs 39 grams. So when it's on top of your camera, you kind of don't even know it's there. Rode is also now using that annular tube technology microphone, which will look super familiar if you know the Rode VideoMic Go 2 or Rode VideoMic NTG, which is what I record all these videos on in my studio. This mic records with a super cardioid pattern, which is going to focus on what's in front of it and pick up a little bit of what's behind it, but really try to cancel out what's to the side. So this microphone is great when you are in busy situations. It's very noisy around you and you're trying to just pick up yourself or your subject. One really cool upgrade on here is this new Helix isolation design, which is kind of a, a shock absorber for your microphone, essentially. Basically, any bumps that are hitting your camera, you don't want those bumps to translate into your microphone. So on the old, on the old video micro, we had that what do they call it? Can't remember the name of this isolation system, but this isolation system, it was it was good and and I think Oh, it's the same thing that's on my NTG. But honestly, it's a it's a little floppy. With this Helix system, it, it seems to be sturdier, but still provide the same level of movement so that, again, you're not getting those like boom, boom. The Rode VideoMic 2 comes with both a foam cover, which is good just kind of mainly for plosives, getting rid of those plosives. But then for more windy situations, it comes with a dead cat that has kind of that foam inside. So it's not just a dead cat. It's a it's a foam interior dead cat. It's, they're really nice and they work really well. This is the the same one that was on the Rode Video Micro 1 and it it works great. And it's so so soft and fuzzy. Then last in the box, we have a TRS cable, which is just kind of a flat cable it is not a coiled cable and a TRRS cable, which is for your cell phone, things like that. And it it is coiled. I wish I wish the TRS cable was coiled because when you plug this guy in here and then you plug this into your camera, you kind of got that extra, you know, floppy bit. And I would prefer if it was coiled like on the Video Micro 1, which I actually might just steal this cable from the Micro 1 to use on my Video Micro 2, and then I too would have a coiled cable. Yeah, that's better. And I think a cable that you can still pick up on Rode's website if you if you buy this microphone and you wanna replace this cable inside there. The great part about that is that this microphone with all this included, this is $79. A $79 annular tube microphone that only weighs 39 grams. The feature specs are amazing. Let's hear how this thing sounds while I tell you about today's sponsor of this video, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website building platform to set up a portfolio, run a blog, or launch a full-fledged e-commerce website with powerful analytic and marketing tools and so much more. Almost 10 years ago now, I launched my Squarespace website for my professional photography business, and it was super easy to set up with their beautiful pre-designed templates, but then I was able to go in there and use their drag and drop system to customize those templates to my needs and exactly how I wanted my business to look on the internet. The biggest deal though is that I didn't have to hire a web designer or wait on a web designer to make changes along the way. So in the past 10 years, anytime I wanted to make a change to either the text, the photos, anything on my website, I'm able to just go in there, make the quick changes, hit save, and boom, it's live. And it is shockingly easy. It is 2023 and it is time to take that side project or your business and get a beautiful design website through Squarespace. Shoot over the first link in the description, get your website totally set up on Squarespace with a free trial. And when you're ready to go live, use code David Manning for 10% off at checkout. You're, you're gonna be glad Glad that you did. Okay, so you can see that in like a, a studio style environment, it uh, it sounds great. 
But what about, what about kind of out and about with something like, like a GoPro? Probably more akin to what most people are gonna be buying this microphone for. I do think it's a killer microphone if you are a pro and you just want like a backup mic in your backpack at all times that never needs to be charged. But I think most people are gonna buy it for more compact cameras or, or action cameras like this. So I've got two GoPro Hero 10s, one with nothing on it, no microphone, no media mod, and one one with the Video Micro 2 on it. Let's just cruise around a little bit and see what they sound like against each other. Yep, up. come on now. Okay, now I have the GoPro Hero 10 Black with totally no microphone, no nothing. How does this guy sound? Going about 18 miles an hour. And how does the Video Micro 2 sound going 18 miles an hour? But now I have that wind muff on there. Now, to note, you can totally see the wind muff and I get that. And I would say uh, that's not ideal. You'd want some sort of spacer so that you wouldn't see that. But it does make the microphone sound quite a bit better. Okay, let's wrap this up for the Rode Video Micro 2. For 79 bucks, this microphone is amazing. It sounds great. It is super compact. Again, 39 grams. You barely even know it's on top of your camera. And most importantly for me is it requires no batteries. So again, this is a, a microphone that you can just keep in your camera bag at all times and always have a backup microphone. I am terrible, I'll be totally honest here, about charging my VideoMic Pro Plus, which is an amazing microphone. I love all the features that it has. It has a ton of buttons and different customizations that I can do with this microphone, but having a little tiny mic that sounds this good in my bag, that again, requires no battery, so I can just pull it out and start recording at any point and never have that moment where you go, oh no. I didn't charge my microphone. But there is another mic that, that if you are looking at this microphone, you should consider. And it is it is also a microphone that does not require batteries, the Rode VideoMic Go 2. This is a microphone that, that uh, you can see some, some stark similarities to. But coming in at $99, the Rode VideoMic Go, it offers one pretty cool function with that extra little bit of length there and that's right here on the side, a USB-C port. And again, this does not require battery, so that USB-C port is not to charge the microphone, it's so you can plug this microphone into your computer and use this as a microphone for your computer. Whether it's Zoom calls or you're just trying to maybe podcast, anything that you're doing with your computer, this microphone here can go from your camera to switch over, plug a TRRS cable in like this, use it on your phone, and then plug in a USB-C cable and go straight into your computer. And this one only plugs into your camera and because of that the Rode Video Micro will now be the batteryless battery less battery less microphone that will live in my camera bag as my backup for when my stupid self forgets to charge this guy or when I have like a second camera set up and I wanna plug this in for good scratch audio so that I can sync it with this microphone. So yes, for more like pro setups, pro cameras, this is a killer mic for scratch audio, but then for like GoPro, ZV-1s, A65, 64, all the A6600 series is cameras, series is? Uh, this is a the new killer compact microphone to have for your camera. Again, battery, the ba battery. How do I say that? Batterylessness, batteryless, batteryless. That's a hard word to say. Is that a word? Doesn't sound like a word. Again, the biggest deal being that you don't have to charge any batteries for this thing. It could be in your bag for a year, and then you pull it out and. Boom, works great. Let me know what you guys think about the Video Micro 2 down in the comments below. Uh, what are your thoughts on this mic? Is this is this maybe like the perfect new mic just to use for like vlogging and things like that? Then I wouldn't have to run around with this giant thing. And I will, uh, I'll see you soon. Go, backpack. How did I set up right next to someone who's cutting concrete? Not good for a microphone video. A good take. Good take everybody, good take on set.